Magnesium gluconate is a mineral supplement used to prevent and treat low levels of magnesium in the blood. It can also help with symptoms of too much stomach acid, like stomach upset, heartburn, and acid indigestion. Magnesium is essential for the normal functioning of cells, nerves, muscles, bones, and the heart. Normally, a well-balanced diet should provide enough magnesium, but certain situations can cause your body to lose magnesium faster than you can replace it from your diet. These situations include treatment with water pills, diuretics, a poor diet, alcoholism, or other medical conditions like severe diarrhea-slash-vomiting, stomach-slash-intestinal absorption problems, and poorly controlled diabetes. The usual daily dosage of magnesium gluconate is based on age and gender, but it is generally safe to take up to 350 mg per day for adults. It is best to take magnesium gluconate with a meal to help with absorption. When taking magnesium gluconate, it's important to follow the directions on the product package. It's best to take the supplements with a meal to reduce stomach upset and diarrhea, unless instructed otherwise by your doctor. Remember to take each dose with a full glass of water, unless directed otherwise. If you're taking the chewable tablets, make sure to chew them thoroughly before swallowing. If you're using a liquid product, be sure to measure the dose carefully with a medication measuring device, and shake the bottle well before each dose. It's important to take this medication regularly in order to get the most benefit from it, so try to take it at the same time each day. The dosage will depend on your medical condition and response to treatment, so be sure to follow the instructions on the product package or given by your doctor. It's important not to increase your dose or take it more often than directed, as too much magnesium in the blood can cause serious side effects. If you experience symptoms of low magnesium blood levels, such as muscle cramps, tiredness, irritability, or depression, be sure to talk to your doctor. And if you think you may have a serious medical problem, be sure to seek medical help right away. When taking magnesium gluconate, you may experience stomach upset or diarrhea. To reduce these effects, it is recommended to take this product with a meal. If you experience these side effects and they persist or worsen, it is important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, it means that they have determined the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Most people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. Although rare, a severe allergic reaction to this drug can occur. Seek medical assistance immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, especially of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not mentioned, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. As for the best time to take magnesium gluconate, it is recommended to follow your doctor's instructions. The daily dosage may vary depending on your specific health needs, so it's important to consult with your healthcare provider. Before taking magnesium gluconate, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies. This supplement may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's important to get more details from your pharmacist. If you have kidney disease, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist before using magnesium gluconate. Some forms of magnesium gluconate, like liquids, powders, or other products, may contain sugar and or aspartame, and liquid products may also contain alcohol. If you have diabetes, alcohol dependence, liver disease, phenylketonuria, PKU, or any other condition that requires you to limit or avoid these substances in your diet, it's important to ask your doctor or pharmacist about using this product safely. If you're pregnant, it's important to only use magnesium gluconate when clearly needed, and it's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It's unknown if magnesium gluconate passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking magnesium gluconate, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. Some medications, like cellulose sodium phosphate, digoxin, and sodium polystyrene sulfonate, may interact with magnesium gluconate, affecting how your medications work or increasing the risk of serious side effects. Magnesium can also bind with certain medications, preventing their full absorption. If you are taking a tetracycline-type medication, such as demeclocycline, doxycycline, minocycline, or tetracycline, it's recommended to separate the time of the dose from the time of the magnesium supplement dose by at least 2-3 to three hours. 
The same applies if you are taking a bisphosphonate, a thyroid medication, or a quinolone-type antibiotic. It's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist about how long you should wait between doses and for help finding a dosing schedule that will work with all your medications. Furthermore, it's important to check the labels on all your prescription and non-prescription slash herbal products, such as antacids, laxatives, and vitamins, as they may contain magnesium. It's recommended to ask your pharmacist about using these products safely to avoid any potential interactions. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing of magnesium gluconate, it's best to follow the instructions provided by your doctor or pharmacist. They can provide guidance on the appropriate dosage and the best time to take magnesium gluconate based on your individual needs and medical history. If someone has taken too much magnesium gluconate and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek emergency medical help by calling 911 or a poison control center. Overdose symptoms may include slow heartbeat, extreme drowsiness, dizziness, confusion, muscle weakness, or loss of consciousness. It's crucial to seek medical assistance immediately in these cases. When taking magnesium gluconate, it's important to have regular medical tests to monitor your magnesium levels and kidney function. Make sure to keep all your medical appointments and consult your doctor for more details. Magnesium supplements come in various forms and strengths, some of which can be bought without a prescription. It's best to seek advice from your doctor or pharmacist to choose the product that's right for you. In addition to taking the supplement, it's also important to maintain a well-balanced diet. Foods rich in magnesium include avocados, bananas, beans, whole grain cereals, green vegetables, and nuts. Remember to include these in your diet to help boost your magnesium intake. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing magnesium gluconate, it's important to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Make sure to store it in a place other than the bathroom, and always keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to discarding this product, it's essential to do so properly. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to discard it when it's expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.